All right, so this is just a quick uh, introduction to um, how to plot some functions using Python and two important libraries called matplotlib and numpy. So as always, to begin, we're going to have to import these libraries before we can use them. Um, in addition to importing the libraries, since we're using Jupyter Notebooks, we're going to have to uh, ask the notebook to make the plots appear inside of it rather than popping out as a separate window. So first we'll do percent matplotlib uh, inline and that will keep the plots in the notebook and then we'll bring in the library with import matplotlib.pyplot as plt and we'll also bring in numpy as mp. So to plot something with Python is just like what we would do if we were drawing a plot by hand. If you were drawing a plot by hand, you would draw some axes and you wouldn't draw the plot everywhere. You would limit it for some x values. So the first thing that we'll do is we'll define like the domain for where we're plotting this function. We'll do that with this numpy linspace command. And just quickly to see what this does, it will put um, some equally spaced points at a start and stop place. So if I want um, eight equally spaced points from one to four, here is, in, and notice that it includes the endpoints. So um, we'll just use this to create a whole bunch of points that we can call x. So we'll start with um, going from negative three to three, and we'll make a thousand points. So the next thing is that we need then a function to um, to plug these values into. So we'll d just like if we were doing it by hand, we would take some x value, substitute it in, and get back some y value. Well, we need to define what that relationship is, so we'll do that with uh, this definition. We name our function. Usually we name the, the it's just a v very common thing to name these f. And then we have to say what we're inputting. So here we're going to input some x, and then we will uh, return. In this case, let's just plot a simple parabola, so x squared. All right, and if we look at this at some value, like if I put f of 2 in, it spits back 2 squared. Um, I'm going to plug in all of these values at once and look at where the, the x and y coordinates of those. That's, base, that's what a plot is. So if I say plt.plot x f of x, then I get my quadratic, and I get the plot that I expected. So I can do, uh, I can change my function by renaming it. Um, maybe I want to instead look at the sine of x. And again, now I'll plot x and f of x. Okay, if you want to add um, some elements to your plots, like uh, a title or labels, uh, the title is just title, and then you have to enter it as a string. So in single quotes, here's my graph. Of, and it actually also will render uh, LaTeX. So if you want to write some math in there. And X labels are plt.x label. And again, this is a string. Uh, and Y label. And you see that we have these labels applied. We can add axes. Uh, horizontal and a vertical would be a plt dot x v line. And then we have our x and y axes, um, and that's enough for. But that's enough to uh, pretty much plot anything. And if we, w the other maybe situation is if we had two functions. Let's say that we have f of x is uh, the sine of x, and we have some other function that we have to have a different name if we're going to use them both at once. 
and cosine of x. And now we can uh, plot both of these together just as long as we call both of them the plots in the same cell. And there we go. Um, and at any point, if we if we need help, we can just um, we can just Google uh, matplotlib and look at the documentation on the um, on the website here. It's full of examples and tutorials, etc. So that's our introduction to plotting.